hello, hello, friends. Jen Brookelman's here, coach for sensitive souls, those that struggle with the overwhelm and emotional fatigue that can come with being highly sensitive. Sorry if the angle is awkward. I broke my uh, my tripod to yesterday, so <laughs> I'm having to just kind of prop it up. We'll see how this goes. Uh, so today, I just wanted to do a quick video on... Um, on, I guess the best word is duality. That, that's the word that's coming to mind. Uh, so often I find that there is this belief that if we exist in one state that we can't exist in any other. Um, and what I mean by that is that, you know, if you're feeling anger, that you can't also feel gratitude or that you can't also feel peace. The thing is we can feel multiple emotions at one time. When I sit in meditation and I, I notice the emotions and feelings that are coming up, sometimes I name like five or ten. And so, you know, while there may be one primary one that's really sticking out for us, like if we're feeling anger or maybe we're feeling joy, it doesn't mean that we can't also be experiencing other things. When we start to allow emotions to be and allow our current experience to be the way it is, we kind of are able to open and create this space for whatever is in our experience. And in doing so, it allows for more things to kind of be there in my, in my experience. So what I mean by that is, let's say that I'm angry about something or frustrated about something. I can be feeling that open to it and then also experience joy and gratitude and peace um, within my day. So it's not like one thing has to be the only thing there. Um, and I guess this kind of ties in um, well there's a bunch of things that tie into this and a lot, you know, I still want to do a post on toxic positivity, but it's a, a bit of a, an intense, not intense, but you know, in the wellness industry, positivity and gratitude and all of these things are things in abundance and mindset are talked about all the time. And it's a, it's a, it's a topic that I want to do when I'm in a certain headspace and I'm just not there today. So basically I just wanted to share this little bit because sometimes it can feel like if we're existing in one space that we can't exist in others. Um, and that's just not true. There are so many things, um, maybe that's, that's not the right way I want to say it. Um, we can exist in multiple spaces. We can, we can, and that's just like our lives, right? We can exist in the spiritual space and be religious, but also be, um, you know, like we can exist in multiple spaces. One interest um, doesn't mean we're not interested in other things. And yet when it comes to certain things, there's this belief that if it's this way, it's only this way. And it's, there's no concept of and. But and exists, exists in all, in all of our, in so many aspects of our life meaning that I can be happy and angry. <laughs> um, I can be feeling depressed and anxious, but also go about and find peace and happiness in my day. Little pieces of joy, right? And so it's not a statement saying that you should. Um, I think we should always respect and give space to what we're currently feeling and without any pressure to feel anything that we're not. What I'm saying is that it, just because, I guess this is maybe what I'm, what I'm trying to say. So for those of you who, you know, maybe struggle with anxiety, depression or other things, the harder emotions, the harder experiences, when we experience joy, peace, gratitude, when we can, we can experience those things, sometimes it can feel like it invalidates the other things. 
and that's not true we can have we can be experiencing both so you can totally be experiencing depression and anxiety and feeling down and and having a hard time but also have moments of joy and that doesn't invalidate the other things that you're experiencing and um, all of these things hold value for us all of them are here to help us in their own way um, but it's it's one doesn't invalidate the other and I guess that's mainly what I wanted to come up here and say um, because I've been having my own hard time with the pandemic and with other things and even through that you know there are harder days than others but like even through that I can still have moments of joy but it doesn't invalidate the f other feelings that I'm having and so a lot of times when I come on here what I'm trying to share is my own experience and um, a lot of the lessons that I share are reminders for myself as well so anyways I just wanted to share that I hope that it is helpful um, my hair is doing this wonky thing right now but that's okay as well um, much love to you all and I hope that you're having a wonderful Saturday and um, thank you all who've you know been hanging in here with me um, thank you Nicole thank you for being here so anyways I just want to send much love to you and wish you a wonderful evening <laughs>